Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Mixed Mowers. Today won't be a video repair day, it's going to be a bit of a vlog. I've just shown you what I've got come in and um, what new items I've purchased. Um, purely because I can't be sitting out today. We've been hit by the white stuff as you can see. And temperatures dropped down this wave. We had a reading um, night before last of minus 7.8. So it's a bit cold. It's just above the freezing now. But uh, I shan't be doing too much work in the garden. My shed is full up so I can't work in the shed. So <clears throat> hopefully you better hear me better. I've purchased a new microphone with a wind muffler on it on my GoPro so hopefully the sounds coming through a bit clearer and we'll have very little wind interference let us know how it sounds in the comments that'd be good so let's have a look to see what we've got coming right so this is one I picked up just the other day um, Commodore B17 at Comoa I picked it up for I think it's about 20 25 pounds somewhere around that mark so um, the bloke said it was all running last year but as I put in my last video any tips to the reason why it currently wouldn't start and it's actually missing missing the fuel tank so the bloke did a bit of a dirty on me to be fair it never was running he um, re uh, rented a house out or moved into a new house and um, this was in the shed so he wanted 40 quid for it and uh, there's no way I was going to pay 40 pounds for that but it all turns over and I have poured some petrol down the cylinder head and it did fire so that all uh, all sounds good. When I messaged him back also, he also um, came up trumps. I asked him has, has he got a fuel tank for it, he said he doesn't even know what he's looking for. So fortunately he went into his shed and found the fuel tank for it. I mean these go for like 20, 25 pound on eBay, places like that. It comes with a fuel pipe, the stopper. And the cap as well so and it's completely empty so that's got an added advantage to it which i'm quite chuffed with so i can now at least fit that fuel tank onto that onto that commodore mower and um try and get it up and running because they go for quite a good a pretty penny when they're up and running so um that one i'm hoping to do a semi refurb on it if the engine's good so it has compression and fires so that's pretty good um, but if the rest is good I might just uh, take all the panels off it, sand it all down, spray it all up, mask all the stickers up and have it looking like new again so that should be good. I had a, a little um, couple of messages with regards to some mowers to be sold which is good, that mount field I had which is that one just there. Um, that one uh, blokes interested in that. Um, Hopefully might sell it on for about £150, so he seems very interested, he wants something with a rear roller. Didn't seem very interested in the Hater 41 because of a small small blade cut on it, but hopefully the mount field will go. Um, I've got to um, look at the Honda again, that's developed another issue. The Now that the drive all works, the rotor clutch won't turn off, so the blades are continually spinning, which is weird. Um, cause it was all working, so I'm guessing there's something wrong with the clutch mechanism on that HRX476. So if any of you know any reason why that rotor clutch is staying on permanently, um, drop us a message and uh, I'll see if I can get it fixed. But it has sort of baffled me as to the reason why that's now not, not doing what it should be doing. So it's weird. Apart from that, I've had a gentleman come in today, literally just left my house no less than two minutes ago and he's brought down this um, little uh, hedge cutter for me to look at. Um, it was all working apparently, but he's managed to pull the HT lead off. So I've either got to replace, just put a new cap on there or a new coil. He wants a blade sharpened on that as well. Um, spark plug air filter, that sort of stuff. So hopefully that'll be a quick little turnaround, which I'm, I'm quite looking forward to doing as soon as your weather picks up a smidge. Um, I've also been quite quite excited about this actually because I had real problems, if you remember, the other week with regards to 
um, getting the blade off of that Honda um, HRX um, so I didn't have an impact gun. So I went down to my local mechanics and got him to zip it off with his impact, which um, I, I can quite clearly see is the tool to have. So I didn't spend a lot of money, but as you can see, I've picked up a 17 piece. It says professional, but I doubt that very much. Um, it's 38 quid. Let me just get it out of the old box and I'll show you. It comes with all the instructions and what have you. Nice, nice little case. And it comes with the impact gun itself, a couple of uh, sockets, some oil, and uh, some filters and what have you. So an extension bar at the top, which is quite good. It's got forward and reverse on it. It's pressured up to 90 psi, which is what my 25 litre um, compressor is. Goes up to about 95, 90 psi. So I'm not expecting it to work miracles, but as long as it just gives me enough just to um, whiz the nuts off uh, off the flywheel and off the blade, I'm hoping that do the job. If not, I'll have to go down the electric roads. But for 38 quid, I couldn't really turn that one down. So that's that's all good. Um, I've been watching most of you guys who are subscribed to me watching your channels and some of your, your videos are, are good, especially you, Jacko. Although you keep trying to pinch my uh, my lines, but uh, I see you do correct yourself very quickly, mate. But uh, that's that's all part of the fun and games of, of what we do, I suppose. All part of the banter. Let's have a little look down the garden to see what I've got mower-wise. Um, they're all out. I got them all out the other day just to see what I actually had running and what have you, and uh, I didn't put them back in, so they're covered in snow. But um, let's have a little little wander down, see what we've got. I've got that um, cylinder mower under the old tunny bag, and that's that mount field I recently got going, and that G Power one as well. But as long as we keep the engines covered up, they're not too bad. <coughs> So here's my little mower hoard. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Got thirteen mowers down here. So they were all running pretty much last year. Just gotta work a few. There's that little yellow one that I did the coil um, wire on not so long ago. So they're all gonna be up for sale. They've all come with grass boxes and what have you. And I've got a nice little mount field in here as well which has got a drive issue I've got the box for it I think the box is in the shed so I've got a nice little mount field there what mount field is that that's the um, SP454 that's got no drive on that currently I did, I did work on it last year um, but the throttle cable snapped so I just had to put another throttle cable in that's all now working which is I'm quite happy with I don't know if it might even fire up actually, let's have a look. It's not been fired up for a little while. Let's have a go at it. Just uh, try and hold it up here at the same time. Uh, put it on choked, see what happens. That'd be a no then. All right, they're all freezing cold as well, which isn't helping matters. So, that'd be another video coming up quite shortly. But as I say, because of the snow, I won't be doing won't be doing a great deal. It's just far too cold out here. But I thought I'd just give you a quick video, just let you know the reason why. I've got some mowers to strip down here as well still to take some cables off and just tidy this area up. I don't like having a mess really, but um, I've got an old fly mower over there, um, petrol mower with no engine on it. So that'll all be stripped down for handles and wheels and what have you. So time to get the spares out and start stripping them down. But apart from that, I haven't been doing a lot apart from working. And I say it has been absolutely freezing. So hence the reason why I haven't really been out doing a lot. But hopefully in the next couple of days I'll get another video out to you and uh, be back to a normal schedule. So hope to see you again soon. Take it easy.